All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Smitty back with another video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you all how to fix the Microsoft.Minecraft folder not appearing when you're trying to install add ons or any folder at all. If you have any issues at all, for best support, go to my Discord server in MC support chat or DM me as I respond to everyone. So, without any further ado, let's get into how to fix the issue with the Microsoft.Minecraft folder not appearing. To put it in very simple terms, we just need to add in the folders ourselves and make sure they are spelled perfect. Now, this is a big shout out to Volkondrian here, who put this together in the Discord server, but pretty much what you have to do is recreate the file path in the packages folder for it to work. So what does this look like exactly? So you're adding your add-on, you're going through your files, and you click on the packages folder. Once you click on the packages folder, you're looking for Microsoft.Minecraft, and you cannot find it in here. Now mine actually does appear here, but just ignore that, pretend it isn't there. So what we wanna do once we're inside the packages folder is we wanna go down to this plus button in the bottom right, as this will allow us to create a new folder. If you are using Durango FTP instead of Advanced File Explorer, you can go ahead and make a folder on your computer's desktop and drag it into the FTP server, or if you're on mobile, there should be a plus button or somewhere to add a folder, but you need to find the add a folder button and click it. Once you press on that plus button, you will get this prompt right here, and in here is where we need to properly name this file exactly as it's shown on screen right here. And make sure when you are doing this, you are paying attention to all the capitalized letters, as those are not mistakes, you have to have them capitalized just as they are shown on the screen right here. Computers are very dumb until you tell them exactly what to do. So any letter that's off, anything that's supposed to be capitalized, and it's not, will not work. So make sure you have everything exactly as it's shown on the screen right here. And I will very quickly read off this folder name. So you're going to have Microsoft.Minecraft, both the M's capitalized, capital UWP, capital C console, underscore 8, all lowercase, W-E-K-Y, B-3, D-8, B-B-W-E. So once you have that, exactly as I just read it off, go ahead and press OK to create this folder. Once you have done that, the folder will of course appear and you want to locate it with your cursor and you want to go ahead and press on the newly created Microsoft.Minecraft folder. So go ahead and do that. Once you press on that folder, it'll open it up and you won't have any folders inside of it. That's okay. It should be blank for you because obviously it's brand new. But the next folder we need to create is the local state folder. Because if you remember back at our directory graphic, the local state folder is the next one that we need to create inside of the UWP folder. So again, make sure you're inside of the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP folder. And once you're in here, you want to go to the bottom right and press the plus sign yet again so we can make a new folder inside of the one we just made. This one has a much simpler name. All you're going to do is go ahead and type Type in local state with the L and the S capitalized, no space in between them. So very simple folder name. Go ahead and we're going to call it local state, just like it's shown on the screen. And once you have this entered in, go ahead and press the OK button yet again. Don't worry about the other folders that you see I have here, like the AC and all that. You don't need to add those. Just add in the local state folder as you just did, and you'll see it right here, and go ahead and click on it now. So that'll take a second to load, and once it loads up, again, your local state folder will be blank with nothing inside of it, but that's okay because now we need to create the games folder right here. Very simple name. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did the last two times. Go to the bottom right and press on the plus sign right here, and you're going to create a new folder, and you're just going to call it games all lowercase. Once you finish entering that in, go ahead and press OK yet again to create your new folder. And you will now see your games folder inside of your local state folder, which is inside of your Microsoft Minecraft folder. Good work. Okay, so now what we're going to do is press on our games folder that we just created. And the exact same process, you'll open it up and it will be empty, but that is okay. And now we need to go ahead and enter in the com.mojang folder as it's shown on your screen. So again, press the bottom right button uh, that has the plus sign on it. And it will bring you to the create a new folder screen. And now we're going to go ahead and enter in com.mojang all lowercase and create this folder by pressing OK. We're getting close, only a couple more folders to create here, but once you have that entered incorrectly, go ahead and uh, yeah, you'll see it pop up just like the other ones, and you want to go ahead and enter into your com.mojang folder as we've been doing this whole time. So open up that com.mojang folder, and inside of here it will be empty yet again, but that is OK. Now we've actually arrived to the proper place where we put the folders in for our add-ons. So this is where the behavior packs folder go, resource pack folders, all that. This is where you'll be importing your mods and stuff. So inside of the com.mojang folder, you want to make all of these folders separate, not inside of each other. Make them all separate folders inside of the com.mojang folder. 
the resource underscore packs folder for your texture packs, the behavior underscore packs folder for your mods, the skin underscore packs folder for your skin packs, the Minecraft worlds uh, folder for your worlds, and the world underscore templates folder for templates. And of course, they are case sensitive, all lowercase, except for the Minecraft worlds folder where there's one capital W. So go ahead and enter in all these folders inside of the com.mojang folder, exactly as they're shown on screen. I'll give you one second to pause the video here if you need it, but once you have all of these folders created, it will look pretty much exactly as I'm showing on my screen right now. So we're inside of the com.mojang folder and they are all separate folders. And of course, this is where we'll be putting our add-ons into the proper folders if you're watching your modding videos or whatever you're watching. So yeah, that is what you need to add in here. And for a final recap, you have your packages folder, inside of your packages folder, the Microsoft.Minecraft folder, then you have local state, Inside of local state, you have the games folder. Inside of the games folder, you have the com.mojang folder. And then finally, you have all your behavior pack, resource pack, skin pack, all the folders that you'll be putting your add-ons into. So that is the proper directory, just for a quick recap. You'll then be able to put your add-ons into these folders. And once you have your add-ons in there, you'll have to reinstall Minecraft again because that loads the add-ons. And then yeah, I have videos on this. I'll have them linked down in the playlist below. But you basically have to reload the game, reinstall it to load the add-ons and stuff. I'll have playlists down below to all my add-on videos if you want to watch that. And of course, join my Discord for the best support. Anyways, hopefully this helped you all out. Keep on getting those add-ons. I'll keep the videos coming out. Appreciate all of you. Till the next one, it's been Smitty, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.